The world's airports, they are economic engines in a constant state of hustle and bustle. According to recent ACI statistics, in 2016, airports across the globe welcomed 7.6 billion arriving and departing passengers and handled 109 million metric tons of cargo and 90 million aircraft movements. Aviation and airports in particular have made the world a smaller place because they connect people, places, things, ideas. You can get anywhere in the world within about 24 hours. You can have blueberries any time of the year. And so the standards have to be the same everywhere because now there's all these connections among people, goods, and services. Airports are complex facilities that require planning and strategy to move these massive amounts of passengers and cargo from point A to point B safely and efficiently. And with the accelerating growth of aviation demand worldwide, the need to increase airport excellence in the field of infrastructure, safety, security, and the customer experience is growing. ACI's mission is to help airports perform their mission. So to represent airport interests so that the decision makers on the global stage, particularly the International Civil Aviation Organization, make the right kind of decisions, have the right kind of information to make those decisions, and to help airports do a better job in serving the traveling public. ACI moved to Montreal in 2011 to be closer to the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO a UN specialized agency. ICAO is the most important international forum for making airport needs understood and incorporated into industry practice. ACI World works in close collaboration with ICAO to ensure airport interests are heard on the world stage. We provide education programs in safety, security, executive leadership, customer service, economic development, and we have the premier hallmark in airport management known as AMPAP, which is a joint program with ICAO that gives a professional designation to airport managers worldwide. We do regular research on deciding what topics we should offer. We work with different ACI World Standing Committees. We do training needs assessments to the regions. We do training needs assessment out to our members, always to make sure we're staying a step ahead and ensuring that we're always meeting the needs of the members to promote airport excellence. The Developing Nations Airport Assistance Program was developed in 2012 to privilege members in developing and least developing nation airports. For our education program, we provide scholarships, we provide subsidies to the Airport Excellence and Safety and Security program. Recently, in 2016, we actually funded the development of an Apex Safety Assessor Training Program to build up competencies and safety assessors within the Africa region. The Apex program is the call to action from ACI to the industry to get airports to enhance their level of safety. So it's a peer-to-peer -peer review where the different members go to airports and help to identify some safety gaps and vulnerabilities in order for them to be able to mitigate and close these gaps. From there, we are able to touch many airports just with one review by bringing experts from around the world. So every airport gains from one review at one airport ACI has 636 members operating 1,949 airports in 177 countries, representing 95% of the world's passenger traffic. ACI consists of a world office in Montreal and five regions, Africa, Asia Pacific, which includes the Middle East, Europe, Latin America, Caribbean, and North America. One of our challenges is passenger traffic growth, which is expected to double by 2030. And so the issues there are just trying to build the airports, maintain the airports, and provide a safe and secure environment for passengers and not increase the environmental footprint of airports and of the aviation industry. The ASQ program is really at the basis of our mission, which is really to be the voice of airports and to provide and to promote excellence at airports. But it's also to provide a voice to passengers. There's more and more competition out there between airports and to be able to provide customized service, to be able to provide what passengers are expecting and looking for is part of a mission. This provides much better expertise, much better performance, optimizing infrastructure that we have, and this is really at the core of everything we try to do. ACI's future is to continue to help airports provide a safe and secure environment for the traveling public, to make sure it continues to have a trained workforce and that it has the kind of facilities and can provide the kind of customer service that the passenger of the future will demand. 
Airports Council International, the voice of the world's airports. For more information, please visit aci.arrow.org.